Oh, <clears throat> I guess it's probably about time to do an update. I guess it looks a little different from uh, the original path that there used to be to walk in here. That car wasn't even in here. It was outside, but... Oh yeah, and there's no more annoying uh, fluorescent light hum. So yeah, started uh, everything that I am not keeping has been removed. Stuff has been repurposed, like that sweet garbage can right there that I'm sure any guy with a cool garage would love to have. I'm going to do the same thing with that mobile, except it's still half full of mobile whatever... 5W30, whatever the hell. I don't know. Still got some kind of oil in it. But, uh, yeah. The Harley was, uh, scooted over under the stairs for now. I've actually got that sold. The guy just hasn't come to pick it up yet. That was sitting right about here in the original video, and then the Camaro was over. The Camaro's in a, a garage at a different house I have right now. Um,. So I can have a little bit more space, but yeah, this thing, that's the only tire that's gone down. The rest of the tires have even held air. I'll, uh, I'll start this thing up at the end of the video, but I did not wash it. I did not clean anything. It is still original as found condition, um, other than, uh, some oil and battery and air in the tires so I've got a that's uh that was not here <clears throat> the tools or the uh, motorcycle that's my riding around back roads mobile but got a little bit of wood split up for the wood stoves um, there used to be a big hodgepodge of like extra I understand what he was doing now um, did a little bit of math and the Chevelle comes to that piece of metal right there with the ass end touching the garage door so when you walk out into the garage you step into the car but I actually am moving this is the back wall of the breezeway we're making the breezeway bigger and I'm gonna scoot that wall back like five four or five feet though it's there's like a little porch back there that's already framed um, the floor joists are framed, but I'm just going to make that, it's, it won't be a load bearing wall, so I'll be able to put it wherever I want and, uh, I'll scoot that back and then I'll be able to move this doorway. We'll move over to about right there on the other side of Chevelle is going to come to like right there, right? So then I'll put the door here and then you'll be able to walk right into the garage the air compressor and the torch and stuff will be in the shipping container that's going to be on the side of the garage here shortly. Um, <clears throat> and probably the drill press too because that, that thing's wicked cool. I'm not selling it, but I don't really have a use for it until I have some more free time on my hands. But it's a cool old Delta and it works. Everything. The air compressor works. Everything works. Um, all those chainsaws, those were uh, right when, well, the little climbing saw was was mine before but the saws work I added there's more lights back here so if you really wanted to you could perform surgery on the workbench but so I disconnected the uh, fluorescent light and just stole power put a junction box and ran a couple lines out to uh, those little I don't know, they're like 97 LED lights that they sell on Amazon for like 40-something bucks, but they're extremely bright, and you can adjust those little heads. I don't know if I can look at it without it losing focus, but... Yeah, see, there's four individual heads, and you can change them for like how you want them, which way you want the light thrown. Like those ones, the light's getting thrown right at you. This one, the light's getting thrown down instead of out. I don't know if you can pick that up, but for 40 bucks or whatever the hell those things cost, I highly recommend them. They are extremely bright. Th those four lights are brighter than, what did we have, 632 feet of fluorescent lights that used to be in here. Um, so, yeah. 
starting to look more like a garage and not a storage unit for a hoarder. <laughs> but, uh, let me move that. Go upstairs now. I don't know if people tuned into the first video. Remember, you could not even walk up here, but everything that's up here now is stuff that I'm going to keep, um, for now, at least, um, all of these old hand tools, for the most part, except for the two man saws and some of the other lanterns and the traps and stuff I'll keep, but all these old hand tools, old shovels and scythes and all of, uh, basically, like these I'll keep. Anything that doesn't have to do with cutting wood. I really don't have any interest in at all. But. I, uh, I took these couple uh, live edge slabs that have seen better days. You can see the, the bark has gone off of that one right there. But I took them and put them on just a couple saw horses I had laying around. So now I've got like a 4 by 8 table that's sturdy that I can put weight on. It's not just like a piece of plywood because I've got like bell housings and flywheels and stuff. But I want to organize all of these Chevelle parts and the other parts that are not Chevelle. Clearly there's new old stock Ford stuff for a high boy. Um boards that had that grill like the f-250 high boy I, I don't know i'm not a ford guy but that's what it looks like to me i had a friend that had one of them in high school and it looks like that um but i'll get all that stuff organized and into totes and labeled and then build some shelves up here so that can all be organized and then this is a huge i didn't measure it. this has got to be 24 by 24 before you hit the knee wall and uh this is going to be a great space. One of the one of the interesting things that I found in the uh, the treasure hunt here. It's like this. All of these. This is all stuff I'm keeping. Block and tackle, two man saws. That this is a neat old trap right here. Like a spring loaded prong. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I didn't play with it, but it's definitely a trap. And then these are all, like, this is a box of new old stock, um, Oneida Victor, or what size? Number one. These are all traps, like, still in the original Oneida box. I got another one I'll show you on the way out. But <clears throat> I was going through and I said, hmm, I wonder who David is. Attention, David, and it got all these empty jugs. And then I went over and looked, and I said, this one's not empty. This one is full of what smells like moonshine. So, I guess this guy was, uh, I don't know who, David must have been the buyer? Because, like, this was folded up like that, so all you could see over when I moved stuff out of the way was Attention, David. And I was like, oh. That's moonshine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty damn interesting. You learn neat stuff about people when you start digging through their stuff. But, yeah, a whole bunch of old glass, old insulators. And then just the old school mason jars that have the glass tops with the little metal. I don't know that I'd try to can anything in one of those, but different sizes, all different sizes of those. And then little ink, I think they're little ink glass things. But yeah. So basically all of that stuff I'm gonna keep and then all of this stuff, aside from a few odds and ends, will go to the sale. I thought this was pretty cool. I find ammo cans. I use ammo cans for storing stuff all the time, but I don't find hand fragmentation grenades. <laughs> there wasn't anything in there. It was empty, but the case itself is pretty sweet. So, aside from a few antique pieces of furniture that I believe I can clean up or find a productive use for 
This is a cool old like bobsled. I don't know, the antique lady that looked at it told me through these holes there should have been like a caned or some sort of seat that went in this general area. Um, and that, since that was missing, she couldn't put it in her shop because it wasn't complete. But if it was complete, it'd be a $750 price tag. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll probably hang it up on a beam somewhere just because it looks cool. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for up here. And again, this whole 24 by 24, give or take, loft is lit by just one of those lights. Let's see if I can get, if you can see it, or if it's just going to, yeah, see, four individual lights, and I can't reach it, it's like 10 feet up there, but you can twist them, fold them up or down to push the light out or push it straight, you could put them all straight down if I was like working on like a workbench right here, and just have all the light right on you, but yeah, it was in Maryland, but it's like... I knew you said it was an M name. No, I don't want to see Madonna's hairy armpits. But, uh... Yeah, this is that other box. Like I said, the Oneida. Victor Traps, new in the box. That's pretty damn cool. Some more two-man saws. But, <clears throat> I figured, uh... While I was making a video... I would show you new battery and everything else other than the oil is pretty much original and the oil looks nice and clean the lights making it look milky it's not milky it was milky but I found out that that was basically just because of condensation because it had a tarp over it since we changed the oil it's not a problem anymore so know how many people have a uh, barn find Chevelle in their garage but we will uh, start her up Tack doesn't work. Oh. Temp gauge obviously doesn't work. Hoping that the fuel gauge works. But showing eighty two thousand miles. If it'll idle. Got a little baby cam. Oh, it's gonna stall out, I think. Well, maybe not. But I don't have the doors open, so I'm not gonna let it run long, but I just wanted to show. It does run. And I drove it in here. Four speed works, all four gears work. We had the ass end up off the ground to cycle the fluids around. And uh, we did check the VIN. This is a 13667 Norwood car. Real SS, real 396, four speed, uh, 851 bucket seat. This is a legit real deal car that runs after sitting since god i don't i mean tagged in 2001 or whatever it was so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna send it to barrett jackson i'm just sort of enamored by it just standing here looking at it but alrighty guys hope everyone is uh thriving during this pandemic peace out